We are back with the springtime edition of our series, Asked and Answered. Our today's staff members submitted some common questions that pop up this time of year. NBC News medical contributor, Dr. John Torres, is here to answer them. Thank you for coming hey, in this morning. Great to be here. All right, so our first question comes from Matt Gallo. Let's take a look. Hey, Dr. John, with the weather warming up, my family and I are going to be getting outside a lot. What are some tips to stay healthy this spring? You know, this is the great part of springtime, yeah. right? You get to go outside, you get to enjoy the sun, you get the vitamin D from the sun, but you want to be careful. First and foremost, sunscreen, extremely important. You want to make sure you wear it appropriately, and that means reapplying it every couple of hours, especially if you're sweating a lot or if you're in wet activities, pools, things like that, maybe even more. Bug spray, super important because the bugs start coming out, and we know that we are getting more diseases coming in here. West Nile virus, Zika, those types of diseases. So you want to protect yourself from mosquitoes, from ticks. What's bug spray the is the bug secret. Spray? Like, what's that ingredient you need in there? DEET is one of them, and okay. Picaridin is the other one. And it just depends. Some people like one more than the other. They're both very effective. Okay. Hydrate. Can't overemphasize. I'm from Colorado where it's a dry climate, and so we realize we need to hydrate. But even in humid climates, you need to hydrate as well, you and the children, because it's easy to get dehydrated. And treat injuries early. This is mostly for the dads out there because <laughs> you know, how often have you seen it where they limp around for a day and they're like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. And the next no. day, their ankle's swollen. Suck it up. Yeah, yeah. Suck it. <laughs> treat injuries early. That means you can get back to what you want to do easier. It's All right. Nice. So it's springtime. Allergies are top of mind for a lot of folks who deal with it. But some people are dealing with it for the first time, like our producer, April. Hey, Dr. John, I've never really had allergies before until this year. Is it possible to develop them over time? And what's the best way to treat them? You know, it's certainly, question. yeah, it's a great question. It certainly is because all of a sudden you're in your 30s or 40s mm -hmm. and you start getting What's allergies. Well, it could be a couple of things. One, pollen counts are going up. And they used to teach us in med school, not completely accurate, but if pollen counts go high enough, we'll all get allergies. Yeah. And so if they get high enough, you might develop allergies. Plus, yeah. new pollen's moving in because new plants are moving with the climate change. And you yourself might move to an area where there's new pollen out there. And so it's one of those things you want to make sure that you take care of. So here's how you do it. Stay indoors with the air conditioner on if pollen counts are high. So make sure you check your pollen counts. I call our hair a pollen sponge. So rinse mm. your hair before you go to bed because otherwise... Not me! You get... <laughs> except for Al. Rub your scalp. That's why you don't have allergies, yeah. huh? <laughs> otherwise, you get the pollen on the pillow and the second you turn over, it gets right into oh. your nose. Don't wear outdoor shoes indoors because it's the same thing because you're just going to drag that, that oh, yeah. pollen right through the house. And then get on top of these. So use over-the-counter nasal sprays, the antihistamines that are out there, wonderful medicines that can treat, but make sure you start before your allergies start because otherwise it's hard to catch up. What about up. indoor allergies? I'm sorry? Indoor allergies. Yeah, indoor allergies, especially this time of the year, because if you're just starting your air conditioner, you haven't changed the filters, yeah. you're going to get that puff of dust in there. So you want to be careful. One other thing about the uh, the sprays, you got to keep using them. I've, you have I to keep, have found. Yeah. You have to keep using them. They don't work right away. They take a few days yep. to work. And so you want to keep using them, even if you're not having allergies, through the allergy season. We've got another producer question, one of our favorites here. Kind of weird, because I just saw him in the studio. He could have come up to ask you himself. <laughs> ask me on the side. But Brandon decided to tape his question. Okay. Hey, Dr. John, now that it's spring, I was wondering, is it still possible to get a cold? And how do I tell the difference between a cold and allergies? Brandon forgot his microphone. <laughs> 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 Definitely possible to get colds this time of the year. You can even get flu this time of the year because we've seen it throughout outside of flu season. So there are some keys here. If you have a fever, that is not allergies. That is going to be either colds or flu type situations. If you have a sore throat, again, that's probably more cold or flus and allergies. The big key with allergies, itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, scratchy throat, top of your mouth kind of things. If you start getting body aches, it could be either. But again, fevers. And cough or fevers and cough, sore throat, those are usually not allergies. So keep an eye on that. Okay. Good That's advice true. as always. Thank Dr. You. John, thank, thank you. you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.